What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to prepare a simple Chinese style, or more correctly, Hong Kong style pan fried pork chops by using some simple ingredients to marinate it, such as rice wine, oyster sauce, a light soy sauce, and so on. I was born in Hong Kong and therefore naturally it is something that I like and it is so simple and tasty to make that it's virtually available in all the cafes and restaurants. In these videos, I will show you how to make it at home and I hope you will like this version of pan fried pork chops. Let's get started. To prepare the pork chops, pat dry the pork chops by using either a paper towel or a cream cloth, dry cloth. And then combine the marinade in a mixing bowl. This is oyster sauce. We also need some light soy sauce, ground pepper, some salt, some rice wine, a little bit of sugar since the light soy sauce is a little bit acidic plus some ginger juice which I press it out from some minced ginger and lastly some cornstarch or tapioca starch combine all these ingredients and that's the marinade for the pork chop now let's add the pork chop we pat dry the pork chops just now because we do not want it to make them too wet as some of the seasonings are in a liquid form. Huh, that's an important step that I left out. I should have done it before marinade but it doesn't really matter. I can do it right now. That is to pound it with a meat mallet This step is to help to break down the connective tissue and it's going to make it more tender and juicy If you do not have a meat mallet, you can use the spine of the cleaver or the knife to do the same act Just to do it this way Turn it over and of course both sides make sure that it is not too hard to break the pork chop into pieces while marinating the meat let's prepare some other ingredients I have some minced garlic some minced ginger some sliced onion and some thinly sliced spring onion to garnish before I pan fry the pork chops, let's coat the pork chops with some cornstarch or tapioca starch on both sides. And then shake off the excess. We have done all the preparation, let's move on to pan fry the pork chops. Heat up a large skillet or a pan. When it's heated, add some oil to pan fry the pork chops. Put the pork chops into the pan, make sure it is single layer. Sear the pork chops over medium heat for a few minutes until the bottom sides turn golden. And do not move the pork chops around in the pan at this moment. When the bottom side has turned crispy, it will solidify and detach from the pan. Continue pan fry the other side until it turns color. When both sides are brown, remove it from the pan. 
since my pan is a little bit dirty due to the caramelization of the sugar so I wash it use some new oil and saute the garlic and ginger when they turn aromatic add the onion saute the onion until it turns soft that will take a little while when the onion turns slightly brown return the pork chop if your pan is clean you actually do need to remove the pork chop and you can straight away put the onions the ginger and the garlic into the same pan and continue frying if the pork chop is too thick what you can do now is just to cover it let it steam for a minute until it is fully cooked but since my pork chop is quite thin so I do need to do that and uh, what I'm going to do now is straight away remove it from the pan and put it onto the plate to serve that's how to prepare these Chinese style pan fry pork chops or more correctly the Hong Kong style pan fry pork chops as it is served in most of the Hong Kong style cafe for lunch, dinner or even breakfast together with noodles and rice and if you want to get the recipe I've included it in the description below the video don't forget to subscribe tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and I will see you again in some other similar video soon bye for now